This is a demonstration of a subcutaneous injection. I'm here with Mr. Kelly, who is going to help me demonstrate this skill. Um, I have my MAR, my computerized MAR. This might be out in the hall when you do the beginning part of it or someplace else. Um, you might do the first couple of steps or you could be at the bedside with it, just depending upon your system. So I have verified uh, my patient's ident identification. I know that this is Mr. Kelly. I've checked his wristband and I've uh, verified. I have my uh, medication software open here and I'm going to scan his wristband which opens up his MAR. And as this opens up, I can verify again that this is Mr. Kelly's MAR with his birth date, et cetera, on here. I'm looking at his allergies and I'm going to go to the time of day, whatever that is that we're giving this medication. And I am only giving one medication, so I'm looking up that one medication on the MAR. So I'm giving an anticoagulant today and I would find it on my MAR and I would pull it out of the drawer. Uh, it would be labeled and I would check it uh, all the way across my MAR for all the particulars that I have to have about this medication and then I would check it a second time completely all the way across so I would check it two times making sure that this is the correct medication, the dosage, that I know that I'm giving it sub Q, the time and everything that, that I need and all the, all the rights and I've uh, verified of course that this is the right patient. So after I've checked it uh, two times, I want to be sure that I'm ready to go in and give the injection. And I've done my hand hygiene, uh, or wash my hands. I'm going to put on gloves for this. I know that Pearson says that gloves are optional, but uh, generally we recommend gloves for an injection. I'm going to need an alcohol prep pad and a 2x2 two two with me. And I have already talked with um, Mr. Kelly about his injection. And he gets them regularly, so um, he's familiar. So I'm going to do my third check here uh, one last time. Uh, all of the same things that I'm checking again, so that I've checked the medication three times. Then I will scan it. And I will not get uh, an error message or anything if it's the correct med at the correct time, which is one of the safety features of computerized med administration. Uh, this is um, possibly a prepackaged medication. Might come as an anticoagulant with an airlock in it, um, which we would not remove. And we may or may not need to put a needle on it. It just depends. Uh, but if we would put a needle on it, we would need to get the correct needle for a subcutaneous injection. So in this case, I've gotten a 25 gauge needle, um, 5 eighths of an inch, which is correct for sub Q. So I have what I need. I've scanned it. I've checked it the three times. And I'm going to come in and administer it to my patient. I'm going to give it in the abdomen um, because that's where we give anticoagulants generally. And I'm going to use my landmarks that are indicated, which is t uh, two inches or two finger widths around the umbilicus. I'm going to look for a spot that isn't bruised uh, because sometimes we see that in patients getting anticoagulants, little, little bruise spots. So I'm going to clean my area with my alcohol prep pad, let it dry for a little bit. Then I'm going to pull my cap of my needle straight off. I have a safety needle and I'll engage this immediately after the injection. I'm going to pinch up a little bit because this is a sub-Q injection. I'm going to go in at 90 degrees holding my syringe like a dart, always like a dart. You have a lot of control over it that way. I'm going to insert the needle all the way in. So I've uh, had my alcohol dry now. I'm going to go in gently but quickly. I'm going to give the medication slowly. Then I'm going to wait few seconds, I believe the book says 10 seconds. Then I'm going to not um, massage or anything. You notice I did not aspirate. So I will come out and then engage my safety device on my needle right away and use my 2x2 two two for a little pressure. Again, not massaging. And we'll make sure that there's no oozing or anything or bleeding before we leave and situate our patient and make sure he's comfortable, 
put our rails up, lower the bed, and all of those good things. Um, then we can go to our computer if it's indicated, uh, or your paper MAR, whatever system you're working in, and you might need to indicate the site that you used. Um, you know, we could have checked the site from before to see where it was given, or just you know, be sure we give it in a clear spot. And um, then we have recorded our medication. We have electronically signed it already by scanning it. And that concludes our um, demonstration of a subcutaneous injection.